former governors of Taraba and Plateau State who were jailed for stealing their state monies and are currently behind bars, maybe free men, uh, working free, all things being equal. Yesterday, the Council of State endorsed the granting of clemency, pardon, and prerogative of mercy to 159 out of 162 applications presented to it for consideration. Former governors of Taraba State, Jolly Yame, and former governor of Plateau State, Joshua Darie, were among those granted pardons. The Attorney General of the Federation and the Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, made this known when he addressed State House correspondents on the outcome of the Council's meeting presided over by President Muhammad Buhari. Take a listen to the Attorney General of the Federation on this issue of presidential pardon. Convicts were recommended for presidential pardon. Deceased, those that those were convicted but have died, one was recommended for posthumous presidential pardon. Inmates recommended for presidential clemency, 27 were presented. Inmates recommended for reduced sentences for their terms of uh, imprisonment, 13 were presented. Inmates recommended for reduced sentence from death row to life imprisonment, 10 were presented. In total, about 162 persons or convicts were presented for the consideration of the president for, uh, for pardon and mercy. The council considered the report and the submission, and at the end of the day, supported and advised the president to grant pardon, mercy, clemency, respite, remittances, and, con and concessions to about 159 people. So you've heard the explanation on which the president stands. But does the president have power to do that? Yes, he does. And it's captured in the section 175 of the Nigerian constitution. If you want to take a look at it, there I can give you on your screen so you have an understanding which will form the fulcrum of our conversation tonight. The section 175 of the constitution says, the president may, in subsection A says, grant any person concerned with or convicted of any offense created by an act of the National Assembly pardon, either free or subject to lawful conditions, be granted to any person respite, either for an indefinite or for a specific period of the execution of any punishment imposed on that person for such an offense, substitute a less severe form of punishment for any punishment imposed on that person for such an offense. Well, it goes on and on and on. 175, if you have the constitution, you can take a look at it. But let's get some legal uh, thought on this one. Senate so Advocate of Nigeria, Jibin Okutapa, joins us tonight to give insight on these and his views. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you, Shane. When the inviting. former administration of Gulag Jonathan pardoned uh, the former governor of Bios State, uh, the late uh, Depre Alamasiga, there were a lot of reactions to it. I mean, similar to what happened here. And I saw your write up about what uh, the president did. What are your grievances about the action of the Council of State yesterday? Well, um, like you rightly pointed out, Section 175 of the Constitution vests in the President the power to grant a, a clemency, pardon, reduction, and all of that, as you heard the Honorable the Attorney General of the Federation has said. Uh, two prominent persons featured in that uh, state of affair, and uh, these two prominent persons are two governors or two former governors of our states. And we're all very much aware of the reasons why they were uh, arraigned before the court, why the courts convicted them, their appeals were dismissed, and affirmed by the apex court of the land, which is the Supreme Court. And all of the charges bordered on what is called corruption. These are people who are politically exposed uh, persons in our society. Now, um, when I heard Professor Kinsley Mogulu talking about corruption, one of the greatest things that has retarded the progress of this country, indeed, for me, the greatest and the, the best business enterprises in Nigeria today is corruption. 
So when I heard that the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria uh, agreed either to reduce or to pardon these two state chief, former chief executives, I, I, was, I weep for this country. And the reason is very simple. The mattress for which this government came to power is to fight corruption. And it is because of this fighting of corruption that agencies like EFCC, ICPC, and other security operative agencies were set up. And if you look at section 15, subsection two or so of our constitution, the duty of government, our Nigerian government, which is constitutionalized, is to fight and eradicate corruption. That's why ICPC, for instance, drives its constitutional validity when the law was promulgated. When Ogu State, for instance, government went to court to challenge the promulgation of the uh, uh, um, ICPC Act in 2000, the Supreme Court affirmed it. And the Supreme Court agreed that corruption has become so cancerous and becomes a canker worm in Nigerian society that all hands must be on deck to fight it. So why am I uh, so upset by that decision? One, uh, the governor, former governor of Plateau State had his, had his appeal dismissed in March 2000, uh, 2021 by the Supreme Court, the highest court of the land. If you also listen very well, in the course of trial, his lordship, the trial judge, had had occasion a threat offer to the judici uh, to, to, to the to the to the judge and you are also aware that in this country um president Mohammed buhari had on series of occasions says that um one of the things that is um, is uh, standing his way of fighting corruption is the judiciary so if the nigerian judiciary therefore that's why I'm a little bit uh, upset and concerned. If the Nigerian judiciary, therefore, at the three tier of the courts, the trial court, the court of appeal, and the Supreme Court, enforce the provisions of the law that deals with question of corruption, and indeed sent these two former state chief executives to prison for corruption, why will the executive, right. so or why will the executive arm of government act in sabotage of its own law. Yeah, I That's can imagine. My... So uh, uh, Joshua Dariye, for example, was uh, jailed for stealing Plateau State money of about uh, 2.7 billion naira. Yes. Um, and uh, let's probe a few things in which you're, you, are, uh, you are interrogating tonight. First and foremost, and these are very quick questions that I'd like us to, so that people can get it clear. Does the president have the right to grant pardon? See, there is a world of difference between having a right to, uh, to exercise and exercising that right in abuse of constitutional provision. The is there an abuse of, of, of that right? Of, of course. What is, the essence of, um, what is the essence of punishment? It's to serve as a deterrent. What it then means is that if you are politically exposed persons, still, 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 and then the politicians who gather together, and give you pardon. Do you know the effect of state pardon? What it means is that the man is no longer an ex-convict. He has the same right that you and I have to vie for any offices in Nigeria, unhindered. In on, on there is it comes no, in a clean slate. It, 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 it's, it's, it's washed it's clean. A, it's as if it has never been uh, convicted. And you mentioned the amount of money that was said to have been stolen, which was proved to have been stolen, belonging to a state, a state called Plateau State. There is another state called Taraba. Yes. When you go to those states, these two billion you are talking about, yeah. was it not sufficient? Dolly Yame was sentenced to 12 years for stealing uh, 1.6 billion naira of uh, Taraba state funds. So. These are states that are completely backward. So the question is, that I, I wanted these questions, a few questions, uh, sir, and wanted to clarify. Uh, quick one. Does the president have the right? I have answered, se section 175. I have said yes. Yes. Um, uh, does it put up, does the president personally put up these names by himself? Is he, was he under obligation to No, 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 I'm just asking an innocent no, question. There should be an application. application. 
that presented to him. Presented to him. So then, the and now, now, if I present application to you for instance, saying that I want to work in channel as a journalist, and you look at my qualification, look at my antecedents, will you employ me, for instance, if my hands is not clean? So, uh, the, the, is is a so matter of an application to the president? One, one, two. He has to take it. He cannot do it all by himself. He has to consult the Council of State. I agree, but I, I just want our viewers I agree, to be educated but the on the of process. State, the, the, because the debate over 175, even when the issue of Alamasi here came up, is the fact that it has to be amended such that people are not see, discriminated. See, I am they, here tonight party. not because the president did not have the right to do. I am here to say that the exercise of that right was done in, in abuse of the sensibilities and the current reality, the reasons why Nigerians had massive interest in the president. Now, and that is that to fight corruption, why is ASU on strike? Why do we have good hospitals in Nigeria? Do we have good roads? Not too long ago, Nigerians were going to Kaduna by train. They have the train almost blown off. Some people are still in captivity. So the question, we the, the reason CCTV why I'm raising this Nigeria. issue with you, Senior Advocates, so just a moment, is that it doesn't look like that the president has the only the burden of granting this prerogative of mercy. One, there is an application. I'm not even blaming just a moment. only the president. Yeah, that's I'm what I'm asking. Those who, the, the question. who in the first place recommended to the president. Then he presented to the Council I'm of State. presented to the Council of the st uh, State. The, uh, the Council of States is composed of so many eminent Nigerians. Why do we have to pardon people who are corrupt? Who Senator, are okay, of under the law, can you appeal the powers of the president? No. To so it's cannot. absolute. It's absolute. It's not the sub so it's perhaps one section of the Constitution that there are no exceptions. The only thing we can do is what we are doing. To let Mr. President and all members of the Council of State know that indeed what they have done is abusing the sensibility and indeed calling us fools. What is the essence of setting up ICPC, EFCC? What is the essence of taking these people to court? If in less than two years they are pardoned, why? I'm not, I have no problem with people, for instance, who were pardoned during, who committed the, uh, the, the, the coup that was led by late uh, Gideon Oka, or the coup that uh, was alleged to have been plotted by General uh, Dia and so on. Because from 1990 to date, they may have learned their lesson. What is the essence of uh, punishment? What is the implication of the, uh, implication, the import of this the, kind of prerogative? The, the, the import is that nobody will take the government serious that they are fighting corruption. The, nobody will also, in fact, for me, what it has done is to encourage that each and every one of us should engage, uh, Nigerians should engage in corruption. You steal, I steal, everybody steal, until there's nothing to steal again, then we come to our right senses. Because if somebody had been... That given, would lead us to a banana republic. Of course, because that's where we are. Are we not there? Because if somebody has stolen, and the three-tier courts in Nigeria had found the person guilty. Their lordships spent hours, nights, burning the uh, uh, candle in the absence of electricity to read and come with sound jurisprudential decision to help the government fight corruption. And the same government act in sabotage of its own uh, program and policies. And you are saying Nigeria should be happy and climb for them. Yes, you have a right to do. The fact that you have a right to do what you like does not mean you must do what will uh, offend the sensibilities of Nigeria. Unfortunately, that is the quarrel. Unfortunately, there's no judicial review to this section. There is no judicial review. Unf Indeed, in this one, it's like, it's like uh, the provisions of the Constitution that gives the Attorney General of either the state or the Federation to eternally prosecute. Mm -hmm. They are law unto themselves. Yeah. And it is now time for our lawmaker to begin to look at the provisions of our constitution bordering on prerogative of mercy. When you grant prerogative of mercy to somebody who has been accused of economic crimes, I think this, you, I, I think you can you can propose a private bill uh, to the National Assembly for a, for. Say, for say a you are just talking as if you are not a Nigerian. I am a Nigerian. The, actually, the, 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 the problem is that I, I'm, I'm when, when you are suggesting that we should 
uh, I am, I am, I am worried. I, I just hope that this your program, another program organized by the fourth estate of the realm, the people in government listen to us. Because it appears to me that Nigerian government across board seems to be law unto themselves. They, 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 they possess this knowledge of what appears to be the potent or science. They know everything all. They don't take the point and the form. one advice to President Buhari, who has the power either to withdraw or to... I will ahead. advise him... What would you say to I will him? advise Mr. President that what this acceptance of this recommendation for these two persons who were found guilty of corruption, he should withdraw it. Nigerians can can are he not do happy. it at this stage after the approval of the Council of State? Well, why can't he do it? I gave you an appointment. I said I'm no longer appointing you. I withdraw the appointment. What's wrong with it? All right. Because because the, the mattress upon which this president came to power is to fight corruption. And they and he blamed the judiciary. Does this and, action make a mess of that? Of course he does, because in fact it will discourage some people who have made up their mind to assist the government to prosecute corrupt officials at less cost. It will discourage the security agencies right. who are to investigate corrupt officials because after all, if, uh, if we investigate and we prosecute them, send to them to jail, you will wake up one night and say there is application for prerogative of mercy and then you are now pardoning them to go and be a free man and a free woman, breathing free air in Nigerian soil, contesting political offices, who must divorce politics from constitutionalism. Right. Yeah. And what I see them do here is purely political. That has no correlation at all with the vast right. majority interests of Nigerian okay. people. Yeah. How much is that? Would, this shows how, how offensive Nigerians are. Go to social media, and you will see that Nigerians are upset by that decision. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Senate Advocate Jibrin Okutapa, for your uh, voice on this matter. Thank you indeed. Thank for you, Shen. I, I just it. hope that the Nigerian government will not continue to call us fools. All right.